Grinder here is deep in thought because you folks have been giving us some excellent questions concerning my three set backfilling strategy that I made a video about last week, which is I think one of the easiest and most simplest way to program your workouts for building strength and muscle. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check out the link right up there to get caught back up to speed. And these are the questions that will make a little more sense. So first question is, how much rest time do you have in between sets? Generally speaking, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on your conditioning level, depends on what kind of workout you're doing, what kind of exercises. You'll need more rest for exercises that have more of a neurological and metabolic demand. So leg training typically requires more uh, rest periods versus something like simple leg raises, doesn't require as much. But overall, the recommendation is that more rest will allow your nervous system and metabolism to recover more. So if you wanna pour as much as you can into every set, then three to five minutes is a good rest period. If you wanna build more of endurance and stamina, something between 20 to 30 seconds is a good place to start. And most people do their best with 90 seconds to two minutes in between. Question number two, why three sets? Why not four, why not five, why not 100? Well, the reason for it is simple. Backfilling strategy works because you have an increase of fatigue from one set to the next. However, when you have high volume workouts, you typically hit a place where your fatigue kind of plateaus. So instead of saying like you have 15 reps, 12, 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, it usually ends up being something like 15, 12, 10, eight, eight, seven, Eight, and it just kind of plateaus. Once you're in this plateau range and you're not having a lot more accumulated fatigue, these sets, one, they typically don't do a lot more for helping you build muscle and strength, but two, they can send a lot of mixed signals when it comes to the backfilling strategy. Because what do you do? Do you bring all of them up at once? Or do you try and bring these up, but then you've got this dip going on? And that's another thing that can happen is if you have this plateau, something can change from one set to the next. Like you have your favorite song come on, for example, or you get pumped up and suddenly you get a couple more repetitions on one of those latter sets. So how do you deal with that? Do you try to purposely limit it or build up the ones in the middle? It's kind of confusing. Question three is how would you do this in a circuit? It's pretty simple. Let's say you have three exercises. So you've got your max reps on your first set of each one and you just go one, two, and three. Then you have your second sets and then your third sets. So then when you do it on your next workout, you do the same thing where you have the same number of repetitions on the first round and then your second round, you may keep it as is. And then your third round, you try to backfill and bring it back up. And that goes into question number four, which is, do you try to backfill your second and third set? Or is it just your third set until it catches up with your second set? And that's a strategy I recommend. So let's say again, you have 15, 12, and 10. Now you could, for your next workout, stay with 15, of course, and try and get 13 and then 11. But usually in my experience, that doesn't happen too consistently. What often happens is we get 15, then we increase this one, but because we put so much energy in the second one, the third one may actually go down. We're trying to maintain the repetition numbers that you have. So what I always recommend is if you got 15, 12, and 10, stay with 15, stay with 12, and backfill the third set only. Once this gets back up to 12, so you're at 15, 12, and 12, now you can backfill the second one. So it's 15, 13, and you try and keep that at 12 or maybe 13 as well. So you're trying to ramp up the second and third sets without having all this undulation going on from one workout to the next. So hopefully that answers your questions for you. If you have any more, drop them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Check out these videos for more information. If you like this stuff, subscribe here. Talk to you guys next time. Until then, be fit, live free.